This is a special day. Actually, I had one lined up for two years. So good morning. Today is an exciting day because today I actually get to go into uni properly for the first time in a year. It's only going to be for an hour, but I'm going to have actual labs, not just online. I'm not going to be messing around with an online brat, a virtual rat named Sniffy. I can't die. Well, I can die. Aww. Anyway, I'm going to be actually going into labs and dissecting a sheep brain. So I thought what better day to take you with me than today. From the title of this video, you probably already know that I am a neuroscience and psychology student. I am in my second year at the University of Manchester and for the past year, due to the pandemic, we've had online teaching and that includes labs. I'm gonna go in and it's only gonna be for an hour. Trust me, this is exciting, okay? Obviously, this is still with social distancing and pandemic rules in place. So just an FYI, I have taken two rapid lateral flow COVID tests with three days apart the last week so that I could attend this today. And also, this is literally a one-time thing. This is my only in-person thing this whole year, so I won't get to have any more. So, just so you know, this is a special day. <laughs> it's not a typical day, but it's interesting enough to film it. So, I have a bit under an hour before I have to go. So earlier this week we had a online Zoom lesson on neuroanatomy so that we could kind of prepare for the dissection today. Yeah, I was surprised because I thought I didn't know anything, but apparently I do know something. <laughs> and as far as I'm aware, basically we're just going to um, explore the different areas and then we'll have a quiz on identifying them. So yeah, if I manage to actually sneak some clips of the actual dissection or the sheep's brain, I will put them in. However, I will put a disclaimer for anyone who is squeamish or like you don't want to see that. An accurate... An average day would probably just be me lying in bed watching Netflix or stressing about deadlines, which I have not studied for. <laughs> So recently I have been trying to set up an internship and actually I had one lined up for two years. I was meant to do it in the summer of my first year and it was going to be me going to Canada for a research internship. But then the pandemic happened. We were going to do it this year, but the pandemic is still here. So basically it seems like it's not going to happen. I have really, really tried to make it happen and I had so much content planned for it as well because it's such an awesome thing to get to do. I looked into some backup options and basically the one place in London that got back to me also said that it wasn't possible, um, not even remotely. So basically I'm having a bit of crisis of what am I going to do this summer. So um... <laughs> I'm going to look into some companies in Denmark and the UK. So as always, I'm a bit late, but I'm on my way. I ran to get the bus. Of course. Yeah. 
when I arrived at uni, it was raining. Typical Manchester. But luckily I could go straight inside. my way to the labs and the doors were locked but apparently they weren't locked I was just stupid this is where I'm going to put a disclaimer because now I will show my dissection or like the few clips I got <laughs> And me in a lab coat. He. Afterwards, I went to the gym. I went up to the third floor because usually that's where there's actually some kind of space. Even though this gym is very crowded, there are corona rules in place, so I feel like it's safe enough to go. And then I went on back home. I'm wearing the sweatpants and the comfortable clothes in general. Oh my god, am I happy that I did some laundry before I left. <laughs> also, casually drinking cordial out of a wine glass because it feels more fancy. Easier to hydrate when you kind of trick your brain into thinking it might be alcohol. Anyway, what an eventful day. Basically, I went into uni and I saw course mates that I haven't seen in a year. Yeah, it was nice. Like, honestly, I feel like that was the most significant thing of that. Because basically we went in and then we got shown a sheep's brain and a rat's brain, which is like tiny, tiny. And honestly, I thought the sheep's brain would have been bigger, but it wasn't. So that was interesting. And then we just kind of looked at it and made three cuts in it and then looked at that and then just went okay then so I mean the other 20 minutes or whatever um we just kind of talked amongst ourselves and I asked a practitioner like okay so what now and then they're like oh we have these brains in uh, glass like little containers to look at basically like a like in a horror movie or I don't know, like a museum, like floating brains. And also like a sliced sheep spring, which was quite interesting. But it was like a sheep spring inside of a sheep's head thing. And oh, and also like a piglet, which was sick or something. Something has gone wrong, but also like preserved. After that, I went to the gym and I feel so healthy. This is not a common occurrence. <laughs> the gyms have just opened up here in the UK so now I am very drained and I'm ready to relax, i.e. the sweatpants. So. Oh and I also forgot to mention that I got this lab coat for free. Like they just gave it to me because they were like oh you've worn it so now it's yours I guess because of the pandemic but it's kind of kind of neat because last year they were like you can't keep them, you have to return them. So, um, free lap coat, I'm not complaining. I'm only paying nine grand a year, you know? 
I don't imagine I am going to do much more of interest to you today. I'm probably just going to relax, even though I'm going to say that I'm going to study. I probably won't. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Again, this is not wine. But yeah, that's it for now. See you soon.